Good morning, good morning, fitties. How are we doing today? Monday morning, here we are, back at it once again. Feels like last Monday was like yesterday or something. I don't know where last week went, but apologies, running a few minutes behind schedule this morning because Hamish decided to roll in the ugh, rankest fox poo I've ever smelled in my life. Now, let's be honest, fox poo never smells nice, but this was top this went straight to the top of the charts for smell i was genuinely retching uh, anyway so we had to give him a quick wash uh, just before we started this and anyone who's got a dog that doesn't like being washed knows that's a two-person job and we've got like one's got to hold them down the other one's got to wash them so anyway he smells much much nicer now but it's still a hint of it anyway we're here back once again kettlebells or dumbbells or dumbbell even and a bit of body weight nice full body workout kicking the week off with a bang as we do to be fair all of that workout start the day with a bang don't they here he is here's the <laughs> here's the uh, the guilty the guilty party um but guys um you will also need uh, a book today just uh you know the usual if you've been here before just a thick ish hardback book and then of course your kettlebell or your dumbbell and your good self plus a winning mentality because today's going to be tough we have to dig deep oh yeah are you tired today i am tired today one of them days you know That's some days we wake up and we summer so out of bed other days not so much I just sort of are you all right to today because it's monday i know do you remember last monday you were on a right down now just on a 24 kilo deadlift a yeah. hound into a bath. <laughs> yeah, well, I lifted him in. You lifted him out. I lifted him out. <laughs> so, so it's probably weighed more because he would have been wet. It's probably more like 25 kilo. Anyway, guys, um, we'll get into a quick warm up drill, loosen you up a little bit, and then uh, we'll tell you what's what and we will get into it. Good morning, Macchiaffi. Good morning, people. Lots of people here today. Lovely. Right. Coffee. Oh. He's just requested a triple. 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 Hey. What have you got plans? I need to know. It's not even it's that a bad. Triple. It's just me. I'm just, I'm having one of them days. <laughs> I had a bad night's sleep. Right, guys. So, a quick little bit of mobility, just to loosen up. I feel like I need this more than anything. So, <laughs> if I need it, it means you guys are doing it. So, guys, on all fours, just start with the mid back, really just open up the thoracic spine. Yeah, so middle of the back here. What do you call these? Cow? Yeah. Some mm. <laughs> <laughs> so really work into that mid back guys trying to get a nice big bit of flexion at the top today. extension at the bottom I mean, you should really do this on a daily yeah. just to get that thoracic spine moving i think you need to sleep in such dodgy positions don't you oh god yeah <laughs> so bizarre isn't it <laughs> Like, why didn't my body wake me up and let me know this is really uncomfortable? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> why why, why wait until I've been in that position for eight hours? Good. And then now, guys, from here, toes together, knees a little bit wider. You're going to reach through as far as you can, take the shoulder to the floor, and then rotate up to the ceiling. Down. Don't force it, but try and get a nice big range as you can. But just make sure you're working within your range, yeah? Follow the hand. So follow the hand up, look towards the ceiling. When you come under, reach as far the other way as you can. So we're getting a nice big bit of rotation in each direction. Good, one more. Good, other side. Reach through again. I can't get that smell out of my head now. <laughs> or out of my nose, should I say. Was it Fox? Ah, it must have been. A vial, whatever it was. I'm not normally soft about these kind of things, you know what I mean? You're just like, oh, you're holding poo, whatever. But this was particularly bad, didn't it? <laughs> Back me up. Yeah, yeah, it was like. Nice big dollop of it hanging from his collar. <laughs> One more, guys. Good. Come up onto your feet. Just 
just get the wrists moving. Try and like push side to side, working through a nice big range of movement, get some circles going on. I'll be doing those. Don't worry. <laughs> Kerry? He's asking for one. Huh? My arm was asking for one. Was it? it just needed clicking. Yeah. We're going to do those now, actually. So some nice big shoulder rolls, guys. Keep the arms straight. Work for a nice big range of movement. Imagine the shoulders doing all the work, the shoulder joint, yeah? So keep the elbow locked out, fully extended. Good, change direction. Same on the other side. Hey, she's not lovely looking now, it smells of sea kelp. <laughs> sea kelp. Uh, well. Smell of what you smell probably now go along with someone else to get rid of the sea cup smell. Yeah. Good change of direction. Good. Loosen off. Right, guys, we're going to go into a warm up drill now. Um, it's a warm-up drill, but at the same time, you know, you're going to be working. Uh, but it's just to kind of propel the muscles, propel the joints, get the heart rate up a little bit, liven us up, for uh, ready for what's to come. This is where you will need um, your... Book. Your book. Your book of choice. Right, guys, we're going to go through three different exercises. We're going to work for 45 seconds on each one, and we're just going to go for three rounds through of this, okay? Now, I'm going to give you the option of doing this with a weight or without. Um, I mean, to be fair, only one of them involves a weight potentially anyway. Shall I demo these? Or? Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. yeah, all right. What do you want so, so well, in fact, Keris will show you the, the body weight version. Yeah? Yeah. Single or double? Single. Okay. Single. So, from here, guys, you can do a single leg version where you, what's Keris going to start on the left leg? Big, big hip hinge. So this is really trying to focus on the hamstrings and the glutes. So pushing the bum back, nice big hip hinge, maintaining a slight bend of the knee. Always keep the back nice and straight. All the movement is at the hips, yeah? So push back as far as you can to you feel a nice light stretch in the hamstrings. Keep that weight through the heel and then really squeeze the glutes to extend the hips coming to the top. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two, you've guessed it, is you do the other leg. Now, of course, if you want to, you can do this with a weight. So same rules apply. I'll go this side, so you can probably see a little bit more. Got hand in the opposite leg, in the opposite leg. <laughs> Cowbell in the opposite hand to the leg that you're working. <laughs> God, I got there in the end. And then from here, load up, push the hips back, back nice and straight, and then extend the hips forward, big, big squeeze on the glutes. Really emphasize that hip hinge. Then that slight soft bend of the knee, and extend up. Now bear in mind guys, this is a warm up drill. So I want you to keep it controlled. I don't want you to go too heavy. I just want quality movement, really focusing on opening up the hamstrings, waking up those glutes a little bit as well. <clears throat> so feel free to do the bodyweight version or the weighted version. Then your second exercise is gonna be a heels elevated squat. So taking your heels just to the kind of corners of the book, then from here, so we've got that heel elevation now, it's going to be, allow us to create much more flexion of the knee, get the quads involved here a little bit more. So from here, keep the weight through the heels, sink down as low as you can before driving up, fully extending the knees, fully extending the hips. This is a warm up, no weight for this one guys, just focus on as big a range of movement as you can and speed through the repetitions. Now last one, <coughs> wake up the shoulders a little bit, wake up the core, is a single arm plank. So from here, high plank position, tuck the pelvis under, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. So feet just wider than shoulder width. And now Kerry's gonna take one arm off the floor, just to the hip or behind the back. The goal, keep your hips as flat to the floor as possible, and the shoulders as well, really test the core. Yeah, I'm just gonna get you to uh, switch, uh, switch arms halfway basically. Easy peasy stuff. Yeah? Yeah. 
there it is. So it's RDLs with weight or without heels elevated um, squats, single arm plank. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think you've just said this, Just do deadlifts. Which one? 32? Yeah. Right guys, um, I actually lied to you, we're only doing 30 seconds on each one. <clears throat> 30 seconds, three rounds, just to warm her up, right? just to prime the muscles. Right, I'm going to go with a little bit of weight, why not, I like RDLs. Right guys, 30 seconds on each one, starting with RDLs, with weight or without, three, two, one, let's go. I'm just doing deadlifts, guys, just in case you're wondering. Follow Matt. Just being a rebel. <laughs> got, I've got a crampy glute at the moment. It doesn't yeah. like single leg stuff. It prefers to cramp. Not that you needed to know about that, but there we go. Give it eight oh. more seconds, guys. If you're doing what Keris is doing, you just keep going for the minute. Three, two, one, change. Remember guys, this is just a warm up. So we're just focused on quality movement here. Waking up hammies, waking up the glutes. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, into your squats. Just getting as low as you can with these guys, yeah? Always just work within your range, and by all means, you don't even need to do the heel elevation if you don't want to. You can just do regular body weight squat and just get as low as you can. Eight more seconds. Three, two, one, down we go. Really tuck under, guys, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. If this is too much for you, just hold here or go or just to one or onto your knees. Switch arm. Your goal here is to really try and keep the hips nice and flat to the floor. Shaking on this arm. <laughs> Three, two, one. Good. We go again. So just to reiterate, guys, this is a warm up. I don't want you thinking, oh, this isn't very long. I'm not trying to <laughs> knacker you out with this. I just want to keep you moving. Get that, get that heart rate up a little bit. Get you nice and warm. Big, big hip hinge, guys. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Really push back, load up hamstring, load up glue. Quality reps. Three, two, one. Right. Ten more seconds, guys. Keep that back nice and straight, and just get as low as you can with these. Yeah. Three, two, one. Keep that shoulder pack nicely. Don't bunch it up. Tuck the pelvis. Crunch the abs. Squeeze the glutes. Change arm. Keep it as stable as possible. Try not to show you what's coming. I can't believe I'm shaking so much on this arm. It's weird, isn't it? Yes. Three, two, one. Last round. Quality reps, guys. 
really emphasize that hip hinge. Load up the hamstrings, load up the glutes. Big, big squeeze on the tush as we extend the hips. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Change. Round will do me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yeah. Same time. <laughs> she says that now. Change. She did this last week. I mean, halfway through the workout, she got a second wind. I know, I do. Sorry, no. <laughs> I think I'm like missing the spark plug to get going. And then once I'm going, it makes sense not to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Eight the seconds. Make the most of it. <laughs> it was like me with the garden yesterday. Yeah, exactly. If you keep the momentum going, you're all right. Yeah. As soon as I stopped, I didn't want to go again. Exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry. Tuck the pelvis, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. Keep the hips as flat to the floor as you can. Change arm. Remember, the wider your feet are, the more stable you'll be. It's the last thing, guys. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Nice one. Don't need your books anymore. Done. Our books have never had so much use. No. Just not what they're intended for. <laughs> Put them back. Could have done that afterwards. Never mind. Right, guys. I'm warm. It's like tidy. Yeah. <laughs> dust her out. Can't complain. Right. Warm. Like it. Like I say, it doesn't matter what variation you did there, just about priming the body. Okay, here we are guys, the main course. We've got six exercises, right? We're gonna go for 40 seconds on each one. We're gonna go right the way through back to back, no rest in between the exercises. However, you then get a minute rest once you've completed the circuit because I want some really good quality sets. It's what I always want, but it's harder to do and it's easy to let things go out the window when you're just knackered all the time. So it's all in good pushing yourself, but you need to be quite strategical with your rest periods, with your breaks. And I wanna give you a little bit of recovery here. There is a little bit of a twist on what we're about to do though, so bear with. There's two circuits we're gonna alternate between the two. So round one would be one circuit, round two would be uh, a variation of the circuit. Then we go back to the first circuit and so on. So we're gonna go for four rounds back to back on this guys for 20 minutes of work. Now, exercise number one is, you demo me? Yeah. Good old swings. So starting with that kettlebell out in front of us. Feet, or dumbbell, feet just one inch shoulder width apart, toes angled out very slightly. We're gonna load up the hamstrings and the glutes before we've even started here by pushing the hips back. Then from there, hike the kettlebell back, taking the wrists to the inside of the legs. Really load up the hammies and glutes, power forward, fully extending the knees, fully extending the hips. But really look for that Big, big push of the hip, really exaggerate that hip hinge on the way down to load up the muscles in the posterior chain, i.e. hamstrings, glutes. Big power coming up, aiming for about chest height on the swing, yeah? Exercise number two is gonna be a goblet squat. So getting that kettlebell up into that goblet position, elbows nice and close to the body, come forward. Good, and then from there, feet just swollen, shoulder with toes angled out. Now what we're gonna do on this round is relatively fluid repetitions. So go down, up, back down. So kind of like getting a little bit of speed into the mix. So if you've got a lighter <laughs> bell or something, feel that free. Me faster. No, that's fine. All right. So what I'm looking for essentially is just, just a kind of like a very consistent rhythm. So up, as soon as we've extended the hips, we go straight into the next one. So select a weight that almost allows you to keep going. 
Then from there, you're going to go into. I'll demonstrate this one. I don't know. Leave that. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go into a wide row, all right? So I want you to take a split stance, um, opposite leg forward to the arm you're going to work, hinge over. So you've got a nice staggered stance here. Then from this position, start with the palm facing your, your left leg. You're going to row up, but taking that elbow out towards the side a little bit. Nice, again, rhythm. Find, find, a rep, uh, find a weight that you can kind of just keep moving like so. As soon as you've extended the arm, you go into that next one. Not super slow, not super quick, just consistent, yeah? 40 seconds, quick shift. We go on the other side. Taking that elbow right out, yeah? Always fully extending the arm at the bottom of the movement. Then we move on to a push-up variation. So this one is just gonna be close grip or closer grip than normal. So probably take your hands about chest width apart. So directly under your chest, come up, high plank, tuck the pelvis, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. You know the drill. And then keeping the elbows nice and close, lowering yourself down to the floor, working on those triceps. Regression, drop the knees down. Work for it that way, regression further, just reduce the range and just go with, yeah. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> just go with the range that you've got, yeah? Simple stuff. Watch your then, don't stop chicken there. Say, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we call it the funky chicken. Funky okay. chicken push up. Then onto your backs, guys. We're gonna go for V sit ups. So I like to start these at the top. Legs up high, reach for the toes as much as you can, crunching the abs as much as possible. Then from here, we lower the feet, we lower the hands at the same time. But again, I want you to find a bit of a rhythm here. So a bit quicker. So hold that tension and work for as large a range of movement as you can, which is basically taking the legs down until you feel the lower back start to lift off. Regression, bend the, uh, bend the knees. You can even just take the hands to the head, crunch up. Crunch up. <laughs> Good. She never listens. She doesn't. She's thinking about breakfast, I can tell. Yeah. She had porridge in her eyes. <laughs> Good. So again, by bending the knees, you're just reducing the load a little bit, but don't worry about taking the feet all the way to the floor because you, know, you might not be able to get there without the lower back coming off. And that's fine. You'll get there in time. Just work through the range of movement that you can. Now, on the next circuit, once you've had your minute rest, we're going to follow the same kind of movement patterns, yeah? So stick into all those movement patterns, but there's going to be variations of them, but, but primarily variations of the tempo of the repetitions as well. So number one, instead of, um, well, to be fair, number one's the same. We're just going to stick with uh, swings because you can't really do swings slowly, okay? So swings is exactly the same. The goblet squats, however, we are now going to throw in a little bit more... Control. It doesn't matter. You're just going to do them slowly. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is you're just going to come down now. Nice element of control. Keep the core strong. Come up slow. Slower still. So this one is just all about keeping lots of tension on the muscle. So Keris is doing what most people do. And that's speeding up on the way up. Because it's harder to control on the way up. We're stronger on the way down. On the way up, slow, 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 slow. <laughs> Try and average more than two reps in a set, yeah? yeah? But you get the picture, right? So now we're just slowing it right down. So they go with our tempo, can't they? I'm for you. Now, for the single arm rows, what we're going to do is you're now going to support your body, uh, you'll support your weight on your leg. Now, you, for the first 20 seconds, you're going to row up and back towards the hip, and you're going to hold for 20 seconds. We've done something similar before. Really focus on keeping the shoulder back, really getting the back muscles, the lats firing for 20 seconds. Then I want to give you the go ahead for the next 20. You're going to go. In fact, actually, scrap that. 20 seconds might be too long in one go. You're going to hold for 10 seconds, row for 10. Hold for 10, row for 10. Yeah? I'll remind you when we get there, don't worry. Then we, of course, switch arms, do the same thing on the other side. Now, for the push ups, to increase the time under tension, we're gonna do a one and a half rep. So now we're regular push-up hand position. 
tuck the pelvis, crunch your abs, squeeze the glutes. All the way down to the floor, or as low as you can, come up halfway, back down, then we come up, that's one rep, yeah? So by not coming all the way up, we're just keeping that, the muscles under a greater bit of tension than we ordinarily would. These are tough, but yep. you're gonna love them. Regression, same as always, knees on the floor, and then just work with the range that you've got. Now, for these, we're gonna now do a leg lower. So we're taking the kind of V up bit out and just focusing on the lower, uh, the lower abs, driving that lower back, keeping the legs as straight as possible, nice controlled repetitions. Go as low as you can, always driving that lower back. So there should be no gap here. Controlled movement, as soon as you're at the top, you're straight back down. Again, regression, bend the knees, driving that lower back. Notice how Keris is crunching up. A, that gets the upper abs involved, but B, it's easier to drive your lower back into the floor if you do that. But you can have your arms at your side if you want to, you can support your head, whatever it may be. That's your second circuit. Minute rest, we go back to the first circuit. Lots to remember there, but don't worry, we will remind you as we go. Right, Keris, you ready? Cool guys, so do remember, it's four minutes of back-to-back -back work before we rest, yeah? And then we go again. Let's be having y'all. Right guys. 2020. 20? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do this, no more. Without further ado, we're gonna have it. Right guys, get yourselves ready. That's why I got that out, I knew you got that. Right. <laughs> she, can't, she can't help it. Can't resist, can you? Right guys, swings, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Really load up those hamstrings, guys. Load up glutes and then really power through the hips. Squeeze the glutes as hard as you can, halfway. Ten more seconds, guys. We go into those goblet squats. Remember, trying to find a bit of a bit of a rhythm. Three, two, one. Let's go. Work. So you can always change weight for these, like Keris did. Don't feel obliged <laughs> to stay on the same no weight. Way doing your way. Halfway. Can you imagine your cork screwing those feet into the floor? It's going to really engage the glutes. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Take a split start. To be fair, guys, if you want to for this, feel free to rest on the, on the leg, if you prefer to do these as well. Then we're taking the elbow out, so we want like a wide row, like a barbell row. Oh. 10 more seconds. Five, three, two, one, change your arm. Wide stance. Huh? I prefer that stance. That yeah, I do actually. So on reflection, guys, this is probably better. It takes a load off your legs a little bit. <laughs> Halfway. Relax a little more. Five, three, two, one. Close grip push ups. <laughs> Tuck that pelvis under, guys. Crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. Keep your elbows close. Just work with the range you've got. Knees on the floor if you need. Just try and find a rhythm. Halfway.
10 to go. Three, two, one. Onto your backs. Try and find a rhythm. Work for as big a range of movement as you can, but make sure you're feeling it in all the right places. Remember, only go as low. I'll oh, see you, mate. He's gonna try and get out of the bed. No. So that. predictable. Yes, okay. I shut the bedroom door. Good. I don't want Fox to be holding my bed. Eight seconds, guys. Remember, bend the knees, bend the arms if you need. Three, two, one. Lovely. There we go, four minutes of work. Gosh. Didn't feel too bad. Quite like that. Now, minute rest, guys, make the most of it. Nice deep breaths. Have a little drink. Same movement patterns. So we've got hip hinge, a squat, a push, a pull, and abs. But we're shaking up the tempo now. You can decide which circuit you prefer. So it's one more, the new circuit, the old, the new. Yeah, so we're just going to alternate between the two. Yeah. So it'll be two of each. Ooh. 20 seconds, guys. Swings again. And then after that, slowing things down a bit. Much more time under tension. Getting some isometrics in there as well. Which is uh, tension without movement, essentially. Right, guys, you ready? Here we go, round two. Three, two, one. Let's go. Trying to dry the sweat off my chin. <laughs> I was just gonna like, flick up the walls <laughs> as I swing up. <sighs> Taking the wrists to the inside of the legs. Load up hammies and glutes. Halfway. <sighs> Big drive of the hips. So fully extend the knees, fully extend the hips. Really drive the hips forward. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. So guys, we slow these down now. In both directions. It's easy to go slow on the way down. Slow on the way up's tough. Oh yeah. You don't rest at the bottom either. Last 10. Should be enough time for just one more rep. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Row and hold for 10. <coughs> nice and close to the body now. Three, two, one. Row for 10. <laughs> Up and back towards the hip. Hold for 10. Back straight. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Oh. Row for 10. Three, two, one. Change. Hold for 10. Up and back towards the hip. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Very light on the next row. <sighs> Let's row. Hold for ten. Oh, sorry, I stop. Row for ten. <laughs> what are you on there? Twenty. Yeah. Madness. Someone twenty-four. <laughs> Three, two, one. One point five push-ups, guys. Oh, this will be okay. embarrassing now. Up, <laughs> down, all the way down, up, halfway, down, up. Even if you can't get this low, guys, and you're on your knees, if you get to there, just come up a little bit, go down and come up. So still, just hold that tension. Coming up to the last 10, guys. 
It's funny, when you've done quite a few circuits, you're like 45 seconds, 50 minutes. Three, two, one. 40 seconds goes quite quick. The neck lowers, guys, slow. Keep that tension on the lower abs. Nice, slow and controlled. Getting as low as you can. Fifteen to go. Slow, slow. Really switch them on. Three, two, one. Nice. So now we shift gears again. We go back to what we did at the beginning. So swings the same. Goblet squats now with a bit more speed. Row coming out to the side. Close grip push ups and again try and find a rhythm. V sit ups. Yeah? 40 oh, to go. We're going to hate them. What? Can you make it 50? Because it takes me about 10 seconds to get in position. Well, get a wriggle on. <laughs> no. No, then you miss with the flow of the timing then. Oh. Because this works. Because okay. every three exercises is two minutes. You know oh, okay. Two, three, one, if you start doing 50, then you're like 50. Literally, you've got like four, two eight. seconds well, to change position. <laughs> hey, what can I say, people? She needs to hurry up, didn't she? Like I said, if only you were like this when we were leaving the house. I know. Game changer. Five seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. So this is one of the benefits to using the same weight for everything. Yeah, quick transition. See, that's my fault, problem, I mean, not fault. But it's getting, time you got your new weight, 10 seconds has gone. Halfway, guys. Nice big hip hinge, hammy's glutes, hammy's glutes. 10 more seconds. And then we're repping them out, yeah? Three, two, one. Oh. Feel the difference there. Yeah. Halfway. Bigger ranges you can, guys. Keep that weight through your heels, back nice and straight. Ten to go. Three, two, one. Wide with a row. So taking that elbow out to the side now. Back as straight as you can, strong as you can. Oh. 10 to go, wowzers. Five, three, two, one. Oh, change. I think your legs are working as well, eh? <clears throat> Up and out to the side, guys. Wide row. Halfway. <laughs> what are you on now? 16. Wow. God, not doing 20, no way. Still amazing. Five seconds. That's an epic weight. Three, two, one. Oh, close grippers. Oh. Tug that pelvis, guys. Crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. Bigger ranges pass over halfway. Last 10. Oh my God. 
Five, three, two, one. Exhale. Yay! Cool. <laughs> Try and keep the arms and legs as straight as you can. Oh. Bigger range as you can. Don't let that lower back come off. Keep the tension on the abs. Oh. 15 to go. Three, two, one, oh. nice. One more round, guys. Switching up once more. Slowing it down now. More tension. Are we finishing with arms now? You are. <laughs> oh. I'm quite liking the shift. Yeah, it's easier, perfect. Rather than doing the four straight. But it's just good to stimulate the muscles in different ways. You know, mix things up a little bit. Like I say, we've followed the same movement pattern, but just shifted gears a little bit. 15 seconds, guys. So we're slow, slow again now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Except for the spins. Yep. Oh. Eight seconds. Oh, actually, sorry. Three, <laughs> two, two, one. So remember, guys, really visualize the hamstrings and glutes lengthening. And then visualize them shortening, contracting as you drive the hips through. Halfway. Full knee, full hip extension. Squeeze the glutes. Ten to go. And then we're slowing it down. Five. Three, two, one. Slow. <clears throat> Control that breathing. That's the hard bit. Halfway. Be in control of the movement. No bouncing. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hold. <clears throat> Squeeze. Three, two, one. Row. Up and back towards the hip. Uh. Hold. Uh. Oh, come on, guys. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Let's go. You on 20 again? Yeah. That's right. Last set, mentality. Three, two, one, switch. Squeeze, 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 three, two, one. Let's go. Breath them out on these 10. Oh, three, two, one, hold. Up and back towards the hip, squeeze. Everything you got, just squeeze. Three, two, one, breath out. Uh, uh, last five. Three, two, one. One and a half push up. Halfway, guys. Keep that tension. Last ten. 
five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Last thing, guys. Lots of control. Keep it here. Slow. Lower abs. Remember, bend the knees if you need to, but always driving that lower back. Don't come too high at the top because you don't want to lose tension. Oh. Last 10, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Yay. Well done. Well done. Yes, sir. Nice one, guys. I've got a request. God, what? What about bicep pills and plank? Uh, it's Bit. 20 past eight. Just two hours. Pardon? So, bicep pills, plank, bicep pills, plank. Okay. Four minutes. So, Keris wants to finish off with a curl and core. I liked it when we did that. Super set. Yeah. Guys, if any of you got a dash, high five, high five. Big up yourselves. Awesome work out there. Ticking all the boxes once again. If you want to stick around, quick bit of curls and plank. Uh, three sets. Okay, yeah, yeah. Three, three rounds, yeah? yeah? We've got to do three rounds, don't you? Six minutes. Yeah, six minutes of work, guys. Very simple. Uh, Watch me get like two kilos. <laughs> bicep curls, holding the, obviously your dumbbells or your kettlebell on the handles here. Fully extend the elbows. Squeeze up. We're gonna go for a minute there. Straight down, Four. minute plank. Straight up, yeah, back to back for six minutes. Yeah. Where's that 16? That's what I'm using. That's too light, too heavy. Is it? Oh, I don't think I'll be able to okay, use it. Right guys, you ready? I just wanna keep going. Three, two, one, let's go. We always go heavier, can't we? You can go heavier. You say that. This just kicks in all of a sudden. Oh my days. <laughs> Keris is out gunning me. Yeah. I'm going to get about three reps in. 20 gone. <laughs> this is burning. I wouldn't move. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> right, quick, quick change, quick change one. <laughs> God, see what she does to me. See? Should oh. you? We'll do 50 seconds. No, 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 no. <laughs> Straight down into plank. Oh. Come on. Up. 10 seconds, guys. Come on, guys. <sighs> Sweating like a mofo. Three, two, one. Just make sure I'm in the correct position. <laughs> plank. You need to demonstrate regression. Tuck the pelvis under, guys, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. Regression, knees on the floor, yeah? Guys, you want to make it harder, take your elbows a little bit further away. <laughs> Shuffle them out. Okay, we are 24 seconds in. <sighs> 30. The curls were burning that much, I was actually looking forward to plank. <laughs> that says something. Come on, guys, last. 20 seconds. How's it feeling? 15. Oh. <clears throat> Come on guys, hold it for the last five, four, three, two, oh. one. Curls. Sure you want to drop down? I'm okay, but you've got an elbow injury. Yeah, it's not bad, it's just too bloody heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that, I'll do half and half. What? No, go on, go on. We just spent 15, 15 seconds. seconds farting around here. Probably <laughs> another one, isn't there? <sighs> Come on, guys, we leave halfway. Let's get a good angle. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
past 20. To the bell. Yeah, so grip. sweaty. You grip as well. Last five. Three, two, one. Uh, <sighs> yeah, <Yay, Frank. sighs> <sighs> 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 uh, Halfway in the whole circuit now as well. That's uh, good. Halfway in the circuit. That's where I'm pulling up. Uh, Twenty gone. Go to your happy place. Tuck the pelvis, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. Oh. Last 20. Come on guys, hold it. Ah. 10 seconds. Come on, Matt. Last round, guys. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna go down. No egos here. <laughs> Carrie's don't wanna give up her 16. Actually, oh. do you want to swap to and try and do more reps? How are you? Okay. Hey, Thanks, babes. You could have passed it. You what? You could have just passed it. Well, what would you have done with yours? I can pass it to you yeah. getting your hand. True. Oh wow, yeah. Oh. Oh. 20 seconds, come oh. on guys. Cool, as many reps as you can. Oh. Control on the way down though. 10. Three, two. One for the queen. There you go. Last minute, flag. Oh my god, I was in pain before Keris. <laughs> you see that, people? <laughs> Last set. Go. Tuck the pelvis, crunch the ass, squeeze the glutes. Oh, breakfast nearly here. That's amazing. <sighs> Halfway, guys. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, just playing in my own position. Twenty to go. And just hating myself. <laughs> Come on, guys. Fifteen. Mm. Go to high plank. Down the dog to get up. No way. Five, Five four, three, <laughs> two, one. Yay! Wow. Oh my god. Wow. That was tough. Oh man. Got a cheeky little pump on. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Guys. Any of you stuck around? Fair play. Even if you didn't, fair play. Amazing workout, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank Starting you. the week with a bang. Thank you for joining us. Julie Nith, I like that one. it's always a pleasure. Uh, guys, if you did like this workout, please share it, spread the love, let other people get involved as well. And um, I can't tell if Keris is putting a nice caring hand on my shoulder or trying no, to hold I'm herself up. Myself I'm like up. feeling the weight. Like. <laughs> totally but yeah, please do share the workout, guys. Uh, we greatly, greatly it's quite appreciate a it. Now. You're feeling the weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have an amazing day, guys. Big, big love to you all. Don't forget as well, 30 yeah. day, 30 day free trial, full access for 365. If you want to check it out, have a little mooch around, see what's on offer. 30 days is plenty of time to decide if it's for you or not. You can cancel whenever you like, but it's an absolutely fantastic community. We love it. Um, we would say that, wouldn't we? But I'm it's here true. if you're part of it, so it doesn't just come from us. Yeah, it? don't just take our word for it. <laughs> but guys, big, big love to you all. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you for the next one. Bye. Bye. I've helped you, but my arm didn't work. <laughs> <laughs>